Russia has broken through Kyiv's air defense umbrella and deliberately struck Okhmat debt, build. Russia deliberately hit the Kyiv hospital Okhmat debt with an X-101 missile, while the air defense systems provided by the West were unable to prevent this attack. According to build analyst Julian Robka, the video of the attack clearly shows a Russian KH-101 missile launched from a Tu-95 strategic bomber. The footage clearly shows that the warhead was not shot down by Ukrainian air defenses, did not deviate from its target and did not shatter into pieces but was heading straight for the hospital. Russia launched a missile strike on the toxicology building of the Ok Matdet Children's Hospital. Not a single air defense missile affected its flight path. More evidence of a deliberate Russian attack, possibly from a Tu-95 over the Caspian Sea, which fired several Kh-101 cruise missiles in the direction of Kyiv. Robka writes, he also notes, in addition to Okmat Det, another medical center in the Niprovsky district of Kyiv was also damaged. According to him, it is possible that this was a planned attack on medical institutions and the air defense systems provided by the West were unable to prevent it. The capital's air defense is over. Next winter, Ukraine will have no electricity or heat. Our political leaders have miscalculated terribly. It wasn't just one Russian missile that penetrated the protective umbrella over the capital, consisting of Patriot, Iris T and other systems, but at least 10. Either Kyiv has no more missiles or the air defense systems themselves have become targets. In any case, it's a disaster. Rubka notes. Russia launched a large-scale missile attack on Ukraine. In particular, one of the missiles hit the children's hospital, Okhmatdet, in Kiev. During the attack, operations were being carried out at Okhmatdet. Russia also struck a private maternity hospital. There were also reports of the destruction of the entrance of a multi-story building as a result of the occupier's attack. According to preliminary data from security service investigators, the Russians attack Okhmatdet with an KH-101 missile. Russia stopped an attempt by the Ukrainian special services to organize a hijack of a Russian 2-22M3 strategic bomber abroad, local media reported, citing Federal Security Service. TASS news agency quoted an FSB statement as saying that the agency also found the involvement of NATO special services in preparing and implementing the operation. The Ukrainian intelligence planned to recruit a Russian military pilot for a monetary reward and the promise of Italian citizenship to persuade him to fly and land the missile carrier in Ukraine, the statement said. During the operation, the Russian counterintelligence also received information that helped to deliver a fire strike at a Ukrainian air base, it said. In the summer of 2022, the FSB claimed to have thwarted a similar operation orchestrated by Ukrainian special services. According to the intelligence agency, Ukrainian military intelligence officers, allegedly acting under orders from their political leaders, attempted to recruit Russian military pilots by offering them monetary compensation and the promise of EU citizenship. The 2-22M3 is a long-range supersonic missile carrier bomber with variable sweep wings designed to strike sea and land targets with guided missiles and bombs. It can carry both nuclear and conventional bombs and missiles. The operational capabilities of the 2-22M3 are extensive, allowing it to perform strategic bombing, maritime strike, and reconnaissance missions. It can operate in all weather conditions, day or night, and can penetrate heavily defended airspace. The aircraft's long-range and high-speed performance make it a formidable asset for power projection and deterrence. Thank you.